a quick see on Pacero, a better option or alternative to JWTs. Hi, my name is Ruby Jane. I'm a software developer based here in Norway to talk about Pacero and why it could be a better option or alternative to the more popular JWTs. JWT in a nutshell. So before we go into Pacero, let's tackle JWT in a nutshell. Basically, JWTs or JSON Web Token is a token format designed to send information safely and securely between two parties. JWTs can be signed or encrypted, and it forms part of the JavaScript Object Signing and Encryption Standard or JOSE Standard. Internally, it looks something like this. It has the header, which includes the algorithm value that states how the token was signed or encrypted, the payload which contains the JSON data and the signature, and the entire token is encoded with base64 algorithm. So why are we here today? Nowadays, JSON web tokens are everywhere. They are used as session tokens or just to pass data between applications or services. But by design, JWT contains a number of security pitfalls, mainly because it is often misunderstood or unknown. And some pressing issues include JWTs on their own are not encrypted. You need to use JWE, but it's not commonly being implemented by developers. Second, it's difficult to invalidate individual JWT tokens. Yes, you can build a revocation or blacklist such as Redis Cache or Memcache, but the creation and management of that additional infrastructure can quickly become cumbersome. And there's the algorithm confusion, giving the developer the choice of cipher algorithm to use, where the vagueness of algorithm selection could cause a developer to shoot themselves in the foot. And also questions like, how do you choose a signature scheme? What other properties should you verify before trusting a JWT? And how do you handle key rotation and key management? So these are the JWT supported algorithms, including the infamous non-header, which is still quite common but barely understood by many users, especially on when or where you should exactly use it. So there's really a lot of ways for JWTs to go wrong, baked into the JOSI standards. And the JOSI advocate response to this criticism is use a specific library. And this shifts the blame onto the library developers and the library users. But really, most developers just need a simple but strong cryptography tool without a lot of guesswork on how to use it securely or something that's less likely to be misconfigured. So what now? A better alternative to JWT? So here comes Pacero, Platform Agnostic Security Tokens. Pacero was developed in direct response to the creators of concerns with JWTs and the various JOSE specifications. JWTs and Pacetos are essentially the same. However, Pacero removes the cipher suite agility or pick your own algorithm and enforces versioning. The Pacero said it took the best parts of the JWT spec and removes the rest. Pacero is a much simpler, more secure, and easier to use version of the JWT spec that reduces risk for developers to misconfigure. So these are the significant uh, design goals that were made different from the JOSI standards. Version tokens, it's forward compatible, it minimizes minimize, uh, runtime negotiation, and there's a one true cipher suite for each version. So, in short, less knobs and levers for end users, and thus less chance to use it insecurely and even incorrectly. So, here's a set of format V2, it contains a version, a purpose, a payload and the optional footer. Okay, one important thing to note here is that Pacero are always cryptographically signed. 
And for your Java implementation, you can check out J Passero. So let's tackle this one by one. Version. It defines the cipher speed for each distinct purpose. Version tells you what version of Passero is being used with the token. Version 2 is recommended. It has the strongest crypto. And V1, compatibility mode, ideal for legacy systems. So version tells you what version of Passero is being used with a token. And if V3 comes out a year from now, then users would only be allowed to use V2 or V3, but no longer V1. And here's purpose or types of Passero. It has two kinds, the local and the public. The local is um, tokens are always symmetrically encrypted with the shared secret key which means no one can view the contents of a local Passero unless they have the correct secret key. And the secret key is needed to both encrypt and decrypt the data. While public tokens are readable by anyone, a private key is used to create a Passero and public key is needed to validate the token. And there is no none option. So what's inside a Passero? Simply it's just a JSON blob called the claims, much like JSON keys. And claims are key value pairs. You need uh, the correct secret key to decrypt and view the original JSON data. Some notable examples of reserved claims in Passado are the following. The issuer, who created the token. The expiration, when does the token expire. And each of that, when was the token created. One thing to note here is that expiration tokens should ideally have a short lifespan to prevent potential abuse. And here's the footer. So the footer is useful when you need to do key rotation schemes, especially if you want an encrypted part of a local token that gets stored like a key identifier that references a specific public key or a specific secret key. JWT versus Passero. So in JWT, it is pick your own, your own algo, including the non. In Passero, we have two options, version and purpose. And combining the version and purpose tells you which algorithms to use. And this means that implementers, uh, implementers know precisely what they are getting or should use for their particular applications or requirements. So everything is authenticated in Passero. Local tokens are always encrypted. So you don't accidentally accidentally leak in sensitive information for a local system. And this is the comparison matrix. I guess one drawback for Passero in compared to JWT is that the former is still currently in draft RFC. And this is a screenshot of Passero Builder in Java and Passero Parser to parse the Passero token. And this is what you get console logging the token and console logging the claims. And there's a screenshot of the JPassetto libraries that I've used for this uh, demo. So in summary, use Passetto for more robust, more straightforward and secure option to JWTs. And Passetto's version protocols seem to be a safer design compared to JWTs. Although I think Cassero did fix some confusion bugs plaguing the JWTs, for example, by removing the none option or by implementing the version protocols over cipher agility, Cassero still need a little bit of work to be called the alternative to JWTs. But yes, I believe it is still a better option as of the moment. So if Cassero has piqued your curiosity and you want to dive deeper, um, you can go to these links and and check out uh, what's in there for you. But that's it for me. I appreciate you guys for listening and thanks to Colorado Springs Tech, uh, Tech and Conference for this opportunity and wish I could have gone there in for a live co physical conference. But uh, for now, I'll just take my picture here. And as we stay here in Norway, hi, stay safe and well.